A question that a lot of viewers have been asking is, can I use the Microsoft Whiteboard on my Mac? And the answer has been no, because the download version of Microsoft Whiteboard is only available for a Windows system. But the new Microsoft Whiteboard is different. The new Microsoft Whiteboard is software as a service and it's web-based. So you can now use the new Microsoft Whiteboard on your Mac, on your PC, on a Linux system. Any system with a web-based interface, you're going to be able to use the Microsoft Whiteboard. Let's take a look. Now that the Microsoft Whiteboard is web-based, if I go to any web browser, and this could be on my Mac, this could be on an Android device, this could be on my iPad, but we'll use my Mac, that's the example that I'm using here. And if I just go to whiteboard.microsoft.com, so I'll just go to the Microsoft Whiteboard, I log in with my Microsoft account, and when I create a new whiteboard, you'll notice that I'm working within a web interface. So here I am on my Mac working with Microsoft Whiteboard. Up top here we have the pen interface where I can change the color of different pens as well as the thickness of the pen. So for example, I'll have the black pen here, can change the thickness here. I can take my green pen here. You'll also notice that I can add arrowheads to it, so either a single arrowhead, so there's an arrowhead put at the end of the line, or if I go in here, I could make it a double arrowhead. So if I go and draw a line, it'll put double arrowheads on there. And of course, there's all sorts of fun different pens you can put in there. If I don't want any arrowhead, I just clear it off. There's a highlighter in here, so I have a bunch of different colors I can use to highlight. There's an eraser. Now the eraser here will take out the entire object that I just drew. And if I want to grab multiple objects, I can use my lasso and I can just grab multiple objects. So I can go in here, choose any objects in there, and then I can manipulate them, either enhance them, convert them to shapes if appropriate, throw them in the trash, or duplicate them if I want to create a copy of them. So just paste that in there. Now the other thing that I can do is, that's my pen menu, I also have this great create menu here. Underneath create we can add notes, so you can add individual notes, or you can, and you can zoom in, zoom out. I can go in and add a grid of notes, so I can add in a grid of notes and then I can make modifications to these as well. Notice that if I put these on top of the arrows, the arrows disappear, I can right click on this object and I can actually select send it to back. So now you can see that the arrows are at the front and this object is in the back. I could of course move it around and manipulate it that way as well. Underneath the create menu another cool thing I can do is of course text. So I can go in here and I could type in some text that I might want in here. So we do a classic hello world. Again with the text I can change the color of the text. Um, I can go in and copy it, trash it. I can also do alt text. So it's not going to be as applicable for actual text. But let's say I wanted to do an alt text on this note and I could say pink note. So this is great for accessibility. So if I want to do any type of alternate text on an object, I can do that as well. In the note itself, by the way, I can just go in and write here, hello, and so you can write right on the note, and that stays with the note. So those are my notes, that's my text. Another thing that I can do is I can use a multitude of shapes. So let's say, for example, I want a circle, I can draw a nice perfect circle. Um, it'll keep everything in proportion. If I go in, I can change the color here. So change the inner color to green, and I could change the outer color to say blue. So I can change the colors of the circle as well. And again, you get the menu options to copy it, trash it, alt text, front and back. Now, uh, in addition to shapes, I can go and have reactions. So let's say somebody puts this hello here and somebody really likes that. I can go in and I can put a check mark there. I really like the fact that you said hello. And now, of course, if I move this around, um, this object is not connected. But what I could do is I can take my lasso and I can grab all the objects here, this lasso here, and now I can move them together. Now, I can also go in and I can work with images. So if I go to images, it's going to ask me to go in and grab images from my desktop. And, and if I have those images like in photos and such, I can do that. The other option I have is if I go and add a new window here to Safari, and let's just search for an image. Let's do a box of kittens. Who doesn't like a box of kittens? So I'll do box of kittens. I'll grab images for a box of kittens. Choose an image that I like. They're all cute. I don't want that one. I want this with a lot of kittens. I want to get as many kittens for my money as I can. So if I go underneath here, I've actually gone to the web page here, but if I go into this image, right click, I can go in and copy this image 
And then when I go back to the whiteboard, so we'll go back to the whiteboard, if I hit the uh, uh, Command V, as we would with any uh, object that we're pasting, I can go in and Command V allows me to paste it in there. If I'm using Windows, it's Control V. So now I can go there and again, I can send objects front and back, or I can just move them around. I can zoom in and out on the whiteboard so that that makes it easier to rearrange objects as well. Now, a very, very interesting thing that I can do with the Microsoft whiteboard. And again, remember, this is going to work on any web interface. So this would work on an Android device. This would work on a Raspberry Pi. This would work on my Windows machine. But I can go into templates and there's all these different templates that we can have. Let's go for a game here and we'll do two truths, one lie. And this gives me a template for this game of two truths, one lie. I can zoom in here and I can set up this entire um, game here and we can actually invite people in by sharing this whiteboard. I can get a link to this whiteboard and other people can collaborate with me on this whiteboard so we can play a game together. And if I want to zoom in, we can see this is an icebreaker activity. It's called two truths and a lie. You write two truths and one lie about yourself. Um, you can look up the rules of that particular game if you want. But the point is that there's all these different templates that I can use to sort of start my whiteboard off. And then I can go into my sharing here and I can share it with a sharing link so that people can go in and uh, start collaborating with me. Underneath the settings here, I can also export it when I'm done. So I can export it as a PNG. And if I don't like the background, I can even format the background if I want to put a dot background on there, if I want to do a different color background. So here I can, let's do a, you know, green squares. It's kind of hard to see here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. It's hard to see on my screen here, but you have all these different options around uh, changing your background. I'm just going to clear that out and go to a solid grayish white background. I can also go into the create menu here, and this is a, yet another handy thing where I can go in and I can insert a document. So if I go to insert a document, I'll browse my computer and I can actually go in and I can find documents that I might have either on my OneDrive or on my computer. You can go to a number of different places there. I can browse my files. Um, I have a number of Microsoft Teams here. So if I go to this hike shop, if there's any documents there, for example, a hiking map, I don't have one in there at the moment, but the idea is that I can go in and if I do have documents on a Microsoft team, I'm able to go in, bring those documents into this whiteboard so I can start playing around with it. I don't have any documents, but you can bring in a PDF, you can bring in PowerPoints, whatever you might like to bring in. So that's a handy thing to do as well. So we see here that I can then bring my create menu back up. You can hide the menu, you can hide the pen menu as well, and you can bring them back up as needed. And then you can go to your, um, up here you can go to your select menu and you can, you can move around. So there you have it. The same Microsoft whiteboard that you have on the web is available in Microsoft Teams and across multiple systems. So you can use it on Windows, you can use it on a Linux system, you can use it on your Mac, any system with a web interface. I hope you liked this video and if you did consider subscribing and hit the like button and comment down below on your thoughts about the new Microsoft whiteboard and if you will use it across all of the systems that you're using. Thanks for watching.